Hi guys. Here I am going to explain about the sequencing of two cylinders. Here we are gonna experiment it on the pneumatic side by using air as a working medium. So the sequence which we are going to do is A plus B plus A minus and B minus as you guys already know A plus stands for extension of cylinder A B plus stands for extension of cylinder B and A minus for retraction and B minus for retraction of cylinder B so for doing this circuit the basic elements which we require is two cylinders two reciprocating cylinders with a piston mechanism double acting cylinders in fact and each cylinder should have two limit switches per cylinder here we are going to use a 3 by 2 limit switch 3 by 2 direction control valve as a limit switch this is a symbolic representation of a 3 by 2 limit switch written by the spring force the same way here also we have to draw two limit switches we can name this cylinder as A and this cylinder as B and limit switch as A minus A plus B minus B plus the next thing which we require here is a direction control valve we can use a 5 by 2 direction control valve 5 stands for number of ports and 2 stands for number of positions this is a symbol of a 5 by 2 direction control valve which I am going to draw it is operated by a pneumatic supply so this is a symbol of pneumatic supply or a pneumatic, pneumatically operated direction control valve each cylinder will have one DCV so one should be drawn over here also both are operated by pneumatic supply and what is another thing which we require here is a push button switch here we can use a push button switch as a 3 by 2 direction control valve it will be operated by push button in one side and return will be by the spring force and as all the pneumatic circuits are having here we are we are required a basic elements like FRL F stands for filter R stands for regulator and L stands for lubricator, lubricator and a compressor which supplies the compressed air to operate the system to operate the complete system as we are already placed all the required components in the circuit next step is to give the connections to the circuit as per the required sequence so as our sequence shows the first operation to be carried out is extension of cylinder A that is A plus extension in the sense it should actuate from left side to the R side left to the right so the cylinder or the piston should move from left hand side to the R side for moving cylinder from the same way we have to give the pneumatic or 
the pilot signal to the LH side of the DCV. So we have to give the connection to the LH side of the DCV. Here I used the dotted lines because of it represents the pneumatic or uh, sorry the pilot signal sorry once we give the pilot signal to the left side of the DCV it supplies the air to the LH side of the cylinder so once air passes to the LH side piston get activates or extends and it energizes or it actuates limit switch A plus and limit switch A plus passes the pilot signal to the next operation that is to be carried out is B plus extension of cylinder B for extending cylinder B what we require here is connection to the LH side of the DCV B so here from here we have to give the connection for the pilot signal to the LH side of cylinder B so once we give this connection to the LH side of cylinder B it gives a connection to the it gives the air supply to the LH side of cylinder B it it causes cylinder B to extend towards the right in fact piston B to extend towards the right and it analyzes limit switch B plus so B plus will pass the signal or pilot signal to the next operation that is A minus for doing A minus operation what we require is to give the supply to the RH side of the DCV so the connection from B plus limit switch should go to the RH side of the DCV of a cylinder once you give the RH side of the DCV it gives the supplies to the RH side of the cylinder so it causes retraction of cylinder A to this direction this is the A minus operation operation we are in so once A minus operation is over it actuates limit switch A minus as piston is moving from here to here so piston will contact with limit switch A minus so A minus is passing the signal to the next operation that is B minus for B minus operation we want to energize the RH side of the limit switch sorry RH side of the DCV of cylinder B so the connection which we have to take from here is like from A minus limit switch as a daughter line or pilot signal to the RH side of the DCV of cylinder B so B minus is happened after B minus sorry A minus is happened after A minus the connection has given already to the B minus side of the DCV. Once you given the DCV supply to the RS side, it gives a connection to the RS side of the cylinder. So cylinder B or the piston B get retracted to the original position and it actuates limit switch B minus. So B minus what has to do next is give the connection to the for operating or for uh, for the actuation of cylinder A from right left to the right for that purpose cylinder B is giving connection to the ideally it should give the connection to the LH side of DCV but here we have the push button switch so it has to give the connection to the push button switch it gives the pilot signal to the push button push button switch and push button give the connection to the LH side of the DCV and the same operation will carry over this is a basic operation of a sequencing not completed here so what is the next step is in fact that was the first step I missed here we have to connect all the limit switches to the main line so here the lines connections to be taken like this and a plus limit switch we have to take the connections from here to the main line from FRL and here to the main line 
and from here to the main line over and what is next is to connect all the DCVs to the main line this is to the main line and this is to the main line and at last what is the last step which you have to do is you can see here as a 5 by 2 DCV the 5 ports 1 2 3 4 5 all the 4 ports are get engaged one sorry all the 3 ports got engaged and 2 ports are free here so these 2 ports we have to connect with the exhaust symbol that is we have to connect to the exhaust here also same case we have to connect to the exhaust connect to the exhaust and the same case is for our uh, limit switch as well connect it to the exhaust connect it to the exhaust connect it to the exhaust and exhaust uh, I'm really sorry I'm uh, unable to draw it properly because of because of my constraints in uh, in, in, in the area or in the space available or the pen I am using and uh, the scales are not there so please forgive me I hope you guys understood this okay thanks for watching thank you